Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use this long cross dissolve transition and kind of some ideas and different ways you can adjust it. So the first thing you're going to want to have is two clips that are longer shots on your timeline, uh, something that just holds itself for 10, 20 seconds so that you do have room to make it longer. There's a couple different ways you can do this. So the first way normally is just to have the clips next to each other, right click in the middle and apply a default transition. The default transition is a cross dissolve. Now you see it's saying insufficient media, the transition will contain repeated frames. And that's because we have these two clips up end to end. And you know that it's the end because these little white end caps here, these little half triangles, that shows us that this is the true end of the clip. Whereas if I was to trim the clip, you see that it doesn't have that white end cap. And that means there's all of this additional room. So when you try to apply a transition in between them, it's just letting you know that we're just going to basically do a freeze frame because this is the end of the clip. And we're going to start playing the video when it actually plays. Up until then, it's just using the first frame and the last frame at static. And you can also see that that's happening because this little piece of tape for the transition is got these strike through patterns, whereas normally it should be colored. So the cool part is you can click on the transition strip and you can make it longer or shorter. It has its own effect control panel and you can make it begin or end at a certain part of the clip. But in this case, I don't want to start at the very end of the clip. I want the clips to kind of go into each other. So what you can do is you can actually crop the majority of one clip and then bring it over and then add that transition. And when you do it this way, you'll see that it does not have that strike through because we're taking this clip and pulling it through the other end where there is still original source material because re really, if I duplicate that, you'll see this clip goes all the way to beyond this clip. So I can pull this tape all the way over. It's basically just revealing the clip in into the other. So when you do a, traditionally a, simp a default transition is like a second or two long. But if you do this cool thing where you hold it for a very long time, you get this blend of the clips that happens where we basically have 50% opacity and 50% opacity. And the cool part in this example is that we have a really slow motion, static clip, staring, kind of very reminiscent and nostalgic. And then you have this train clip where things are moving really fast and uh, going from right to left really quickly. So we get almost this, this memory that kind of happens, this cool juxtaposition of two images or this blend of two images where one slowly is moving into the other. It can be really cool for slow montage scenes, or you can do this sustainedly throughout several clips. So you can go from one to the other, but do them all in this slow tempo way. Another way that you can do this, if you find fussing with the effect controls really difficult or tedious is just do two layers on top of each other. So you can just put one layer on top of the other. I'll apply the default transition this time just on the second layer and then just kind of zoom in there so I can highlight that little piece of tape and apply that cross dissolve but make it much longer than default. So in this case, again, we have a cool juxtaposition of a static slow shot to a fast moving but still frame shot. If you don't want to do this with the default transitions, you can actually open up the effects panel inside of the video transitions folder. There's a whole bunch of different dissolves. So there's cross dissolve as the default, but you can do film dissolves or dips to different colors. And they just have slightly different looks and ways they can blend. And if you don't even want to do a transition, um, you can just take one clip and put it on let's say 50% opacity or 25% opacity, depending on how strong you want one or the other clip to be. And you can just play two clips on top of each other in a blend and just kind of transition in other ways or do with this what you will, just create a blend of two images. So a really simple technique, but hopefully you learn some things about how you can adjust the, those defaults or those little piece of tape transitions 
You can adjust the length of them, the way they start. They have their own effect control. So my name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out a bunch of other editing tips and tutorials on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.